Right now I've landed on the planet called Wendworld, in the black rock system in the galaxy Ejirandath. Now everyone, we've arrived at the castle Camp Paravent, where the three traveling builders have been working on the restoration of the ancient castle in this story. Let's have a look and see what they've done. I decided I just had to explore and see these wonderful restoration builds myself. Each of them has a part of the story to tell. In my travels, I visited a restoration base build called Reminiscence of Narnia. I learned about this ancient book written by a man named C.S. Lewis called The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe at an archival library. I also heard this story being told in a faraway galaxy. The reminiscence of Narnia base bill shares the story of four children whose names were Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy. The children's parents sent them away from a place called London, England during the war because of all the air raids. They arrived at an old professor's house in the middle of the country. The professor lived alone in a big house with his housekeeper, Mrs. McCready, and three servants, Ivy, Margaret, and Betty. One rainy day, the children played hide-and-seek inside the house. Lucy discovered a big old wardrobe in one of the rooms and decided to hide there. While she was in there, she discovered a way through the wardrobe which led out into a snowy forest land. She entered into a land called Narnia, and there in front of her was a lamppost that shone bright in the dark winter night. I am having fun exploring and touring this castle with its turrets, the great hall, 
the courtyards, the children's rooms. I see they even have a bathroom. As I begin to explore the castle, I feel myself drawn into the past, wondering what would it be like to live here? In the castle there are four thrones, and it was a saying in Narnia time that when two daughters of Eve and two sons of Adam sit on those thrones, then it would be the end of not only the white witch's reign, but of her life. The children had to be very cautious when they came into Narnia, for if she found out about them, their lives would be in serious danger. Imagine the wonderful feasts they had in this great banqueting hall. The children learned of an ancient prophecy from Mr. and Mrs. Beaver about the castle Carparabell. It was a castle on the sea coast. It was thought it should be the capital of the whole country. This is a story of a battle between good and evil, light and darkness. In the story, through a course of events, Lucy brought her brothers and sisters into this land, and they had many adventures. They met the large, good lion named Asle, discovered a fawn named Mr. Tumnus, Mr. and Mrs. Beaver, and several other benevolent creatures. They also encountered the White Witch and her evil followers. She is the villain in this tale. She deceives and kidnaps one of the children, Edmund. The witch declared Edmund as a traitor and quoted about the deep magic which the old emperor established in Narnia at the very beginning. The magic said every traitor belonged to her, the White Witch, as her lawful prey, and that for every treachery she had the right to a kill. She told Aslan that Edmund's blood and his life is her property. So Aslan gave up his life to free Edmund, who was trapped in the White Witch's clutches. However, 
she did not know of the deeper, hidden magic. The deep magic revives Aslan. A big war was fought between good and evil, and the good won out. Narnia was freed from the White Witch's reign and constant winter with no Christmas. Spring and summer came once again to the land. Children always went down to the beach, had their picnics, had fun in the water, and played with the animals there. see a bridge over there. I wonder where it leads. There is much to see and explore in this lovely land. Many unique creatures, beautiful glowing plants, and lightly meteor showers putting on a fabulous show for everyone. I look over the edge of the bridge and I see what looks like a cave down there. I hate to stop watching this meteor shower. 
but my curiosity is getting the better of me. This is a beautiful and mysterious cave system under the castle. It looks extensive. Look here, this is a funny creature. Look at him go. I see more of his friends over there. I see the builders have left something special here. I wonder, could there be some buried dungeons here? That's an adventure for another day. The ceiling is covered in sparkling lights. I'm curious about these ancient bones left here, embedded in the walls of these caves. They came from huge creatures. Well, that's another exploration waiting to happen. Let's get back to our story. Aslan crowns the children, Queen Lucy, Queen Susan, King Peter, and King Edmund. He brings them to the castle Car Car Gown, where they ruled and reigned over Narnia. Many years had passed in Narnia, and the children were now grown up. One day, while riding their horses, they discovered a path in the forest. They spotted something that looked familiar. It was the lamppost they saw when they first arrived into this strange land. They got off their horses to check it out. There was another path behind it. They followed it and found themselves back in the wardrobe, which was in the professor's house. It was like they had just left. They were kids once again, and they contemplated everything in their hearts. Oh my, the meteor shower is still going on. Wow, it's beautiful.
Yes, there is storms, but the light shines again. The rains refresh the land. Remember, even though the storms come, you can always dance in the rain. There is always hope when the light shines and dispels the darkness. It's a new day. Oh, I see one of the builders is flying his pet dragon, a magnificent creature. These builders did a fantastic job restoring this castle. Thank you very much. Now we arise and head out with confidence and a sense of adventure as we go forth in this journey of life. Always remember, never give up. <laughs>